Hi, welcome to Longevity's Learning Lab. Today, I'm gonna to go through the differences between uh, flux core and MIG welding. Uh, there seems to be a little confusion about them. Uh, so, I'll go through each process and uh, lay out how they work, what the differences are, and uh, uh, what there might be about confusion within the processes. I'm gonna use Longevity's MIG weld 140, which will run uh, MIG, and it'll run flux core, and uh, with a spool gun, yeah, the spool gun to this, and it'll run uh, um, MIG alone. Uh, here's the inside of the machine, which will run different spools. We'll just take this adapter off, and we can run the, the smaller spools, or, or put it back on, and we can run the 12 and a half. And these are sold in kilos or pounds, because the length of the wire is gonna be different depending on the, on the wire thickness that you're, that you're buying. So it's always gonna be sold in, in kilos or pounds. Um, and this is what happens when you don't tuck the wire into one of these little holes at the, when you remove the wire from the machine. So always tuck your wire in, uh, uh, and pinch it off in, in the, the little hole, bend it off, or this is what you get. And it can be a lot worse than this. This isn't that bad. Here's my settings for the two welds. This is my MIG weld. My gas was set at 25 cubic feet per hour and this is my wire speed at 50 and my arc bolts at seven. And I'm running at a direct current electrode positive and then I switched to uh, uh, flux core and I went to, I changed the machine DCEN electrode negative and I went to eight and eight. All right, here we have uh, straight MIG, metal inner gas. Here we have flux core, and the flux is contained in the wire, so the, that's what's protecting the molten metal from the oxygen, nitrogen in the air. The flux that's coming through the wire into protect the weld, and this has no flux in it. This is just straight steel wire with uh, a protective gas. Now the gas is what shields the weld from oxygen, nitrogen, the gas is coming out of the end of the hose. So that's why this is so clean, and that's what uh, a flux core will look like. There'll be a lot of spatter here. There's uh, uh, nothing, almost no spatter here in the MIG welding. You can see there's a little bit of flux still in the weld here around the flux core. This is really hard to clean out. So if you're doing multiple passes, uh, you're gonna contaminate the next weld with this flux. Very tough to clean out. And MIG welding, nothing. There is no flux. There's uh, just the gas that protects the weld. So nice clean weld. This is gonna be a little bit tougher to work with. Uh, uh, but you can weld this anywhere, any place, outside, inside. It does have a great variety of applications, whereas the MIG weld is going to need the gas shield, which can be disturbed by, by wind. Three, two, one. Here's the two wires used in these two welds. This is uh, E71TGS, flux cord wire. So the T in that number string stands for tubular, which means the flux runs right down the middle of this wire, and as the wire burns off, the flux is provided uh, to shield this metal, molten metal, from the, from the atmosphere, oxygen, nitrogen. Um, this is uh, ER70S6, and the S in that string stands for solid. So this is a solid steel wire with a, uh, a little copper 
coating over it to protect it from rusting. Uh, but the shielding for the molten metal is provided uh, by the gas that is coming out to the end of the hose. So solid steel wire with a gas uh, flux protection. And this is a hollow wire with a flux core. And the flux is protecting the metal here. So the same machine is performing both welds. It's feeding wire through the torch to the workpiece. So where the processes start to change uh, is in how the weld itself is protected. So flux core, flux in the wire, uh, doesn't need any shielding gas. The flux is protecting the weld. That means you can weld the wind, rain, whatever. You can weld in those conditions. Uh, uh, MIG welding, metal inner gas, is you supplying gas through the machine, from the bottle through the machine, to out uh, through the torch, and the gas is flowing out the end of the hose to shield the molten metal from the oxygen and nitrogen in the air. So the protection of the weld itself is the substantial, is the, the big uh, uh, difference in the two processes. One machine capable of running wire out to the workpiece, uh, but the wire that you put in the machine and the settings that you put the machine into determine the difference in the weld. One wire is providing flux to protect the weld from oxygen, nitrogen. One wire is needing um, the, the gas flow to blow the atmosphere away from the weld uh, while the metal cools. So. MIG welding and flux core, uh, there's your differences. It's, it's in the, the wire that's fed through the machine. Uh, thanks for watching at Longevity's Learning Lab. Hope you learned something today.